What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you some videos of Minecraft faces. So yeah. What's up guys, my name is Josiah, and today I'll be bringing you a new edition of my secret base tutorial series. Now this base will feature a simple redstone torch key piston door to hide your entranceway, as well as showcase a sleek rustic themed interior to host all your survival needs. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. Now for the first portion of this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the redstone device which will hide the entrance to the base. But before we get into that, you'll first need to find some kind of wall in your world similar to the example shown here so we can hide the redstone behind it. So once you've found a spot that works, we'll first clear out a 2x2 two two area in the wall that goes in 3 blocks. Then inside of here, let's remove a 4 block square off the ground. Now for the redstone, we'll start by placing a sticky piston at the back left of this. Then remove a block in front of it and place in a redstone torch. Also place a piece of redstone to the right of that and then place in a repeater behind it ticked one time. Now add another redstone in back of that and place in any block to the left behind the piston. Now in front of the sticky piston let's add a block that matches the ground on the outside and also remove a block in front of it. Then let's cover the wall back up and after that if we go ahead and place a redstone torch on our block the door will open and close. So now let's dig a hole where the entrance opens up that is about 5 blocks deep and add ladders up to the top. Now when we're inside here we can open and close the entrance from underneath by placing and removing the redstone torch that sits beneath the piston. But next up let's start clearing a small path at the bottom that is about 5 blocks long and then at the end of it place in a dark oak door. Now on the other end of this door, we'll need to clear out a 13 long by 13 wide area with a height of 3 blocks, as that will be the main dimensions of the base. this 13 by 13 area cleared out, let's now dig a 7 by 7 hole at the center of this room that is 3 blocks deep. Now that we have this area cleared out, we will then clear out some extra spots in the walls. So first at the center of this back wall, let's clear out a 5 block section that goes in 2 blocks. Then along the right and left walls, we'll clear out some spots for the chests. So from the front corners of the room, make 3 of these 2 wide indents at each side that are spaced a block apart from each other. And now once we have these extra spaces cleared out along the walls, we can then replace all the stone in the walls with spruce planks.
at this bottom section, we can also replace the stone walls with spruce planks. Next, we'll replace all the floors around the base, so let's first start replacing the floors within the indented parts of the walls with spruce planks. Then for the rest of the flooring at the top and bottom sections, we can replace the stone with birch planks. Next up, let's replace the ceiling of the base. So starting with the indented parts of the wall at the right and left sides, let's fill in the top with glowstone. Then at the back section that we cleared, let's replace the ceiling with spruce planks. And now let's replace the outer two rows of the ceiling with birch planks. Then for the remaining area at the center, we'll place a ceiling with spruce planks. Next we'll add everything into the top level of the base, so let's begin by adding double chests and all the indents along the right and left walls.
Now at this back part of the base, I'll add in the bedroom by placing in beds, carpet flooring, and a crafting area. Then once we have the bedroom in, let's next add some paintings at the back and front walls with glowstone behind them. Then we'll add in a wall to close off the bedroom area. So starting from the end of this lower level, let's build a wall of spruce planks across the right and left side. Well guys, it's the 19th going on the 20th. Let's And now at both ends of this wall, we can add in a double dark oak door. Then lastly at the middle of this wall, let's add a five long and two tall window of white stained glass panes. Next we'll add in all the things we need at the bottom level of the base. So let's begin by placing down a ladder at the middle of this front wall. Now we can place in spruce fences at the sides of the ladders and also around the top of these spruce planks. Then let's also extend up the front corners of these fences up to the ceiling. Next up, we'll add an enchantment room along the bottom level. So at the middle of this back wall, clear out a five long and two tall area that goes in three blocks. Then add in bookshelves along the walls of this area and place an enchantment table at the center of them. And now we can replace the floor around this enchantment table with birch planks. After that, we'll then add some furnaces at the right and left walls. So let's place in a three long and two tall row of these at both sides. Then at each corner of the floor, let's add some glowstone with leaves on top for some decoration. And now at the center of this floor, we can add an A3 by 3 square of carpet. Then lastly, we'll add some lights in the ceiling. So go on two blocks from each corner of the spruce ceiling and add in a redstone lamp with a lever above it, and then that will finish up the base. Yeah, 
But that is going to be all for the secret base tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more designs of hidden underground bases, be sure to let me know and drop me a like and I'll definitely continue to do more. But with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Better guys, bye bye.